Hey guys, welcome back to Satisfactory, the latest of the long line of ecological disaster simulators. As you can see, I'm going around here and being the most ecological disastrous as I possibly can. This extends to the biofuels and the biomasses. I seem to have stripped this place entirely clear of any bushes, which is a little bit of a shame, a little bit of a shame, but we have something that we can do here very quickly just to, uh, just to boost boost how we feel about what's going on here. I'm going to hit this and we're going to get the launch pads. Well, the jump pads. Anyway, that's pretty strong. Milestone reach. Let's say it, let Ada talk. Including several different categories of jump pads can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. Oh, yes. Caution is very much recommended. Whereabouts are they now hidden? Okay, let's go with a tilted jump pad. Can I actually... I I actually can. I wasn't expecting to have the ability to actually place this right now, but I'm going to go ahead and pop that down over there. One of the things that I'm actually not going to be able to make is the landing pads, but that's fine. I mean, who who need who needs a safe land? The reason that I can't is because we need 200 biomass, and uh, what do you know, my biomass factory over here, if we go and have a look in the place where the biomass is stored, oh, I'm empty. Do you know why? Because I've gone and turned it all into biofuel. Sad times. Sad times. Let's go see if we can find some biomass just kind of kicking around. Uh, whilst we're doing that, let's go up and have a look at the factory as it stands. So you guys have seen the biomass factory before. That's no problem. What you wouldn't have seen is this stuff here. Well, you would have seen this underneath here. This is my reinforced plates factory. You, you guys have seen this. One thing you haven't seen is I've ripped out the screws from here. Why would I have done that? Well, let me climb up this brand new staircase that I've got here to show you what's going on at the top. Okay, so up here I have another assembler. I also have this whole, like, weird assemblage of, um, what's the word I'm looking at? Conveyors. So you can see this is this is the screws that used to go down below. I've now got them going uh, on this little side panel here. Yeah, look, you can see they used to go down there. Side panel here towards the assembler making rotors because they're very important for the next bit of the sky crane, which we might actually already do. The the, the space elevator, sorry, sky crane. That's so something completely different. But also underneath here, oh, do you see it? Do you see it? I've gone on a bit of a constructor spree. If we, if you guys can remember, last time we didn't touch this this little mining spot at all. So I've come along here and I have put down a whole uh, a whole load of conveyors at the back, and I've hooked up all this lot to the power system. And unfortunately, I haven't actually hooked them up as they are because I'm a little bit scared that the power is going to overflow. So if I press a five, you can see you can put the convoy splitters on here. I'm not sure how. Like if I put the splitter there. Um, is this now encroaching? No, it's not. I was going to see if it was encroaching on this little slopey bit there, but it's not, so that's pretty good. So I'm now wondering, like, can I literally just put that on the wall there? Is that a thing? No, we do have some invalid locations. Hang on, let's, let's figure this out. Where exactly do I want this? Let's stand with that right there, and this. Ah, it is exactly that we can't do, but we can put it just to the other side. Okay, that's that's cool. New things learned today. The fact that we can do this was a new thing on me. I, I struggled those out. I put one of them up, and I was like, yes, I've got to show this on stream. Also, very dark again. Uh, it's always very dark here. So now that we've got these turning over, we've got a whole bunch of... Uh, it doesn't matter how long I wait for the sun. If the, if the roof's up, the roof's up, right? You know, we're not going to see anything. Man, that leaf there totally looked like some sort of weird humanoid being trying to stand up and look at me then. I don't know. It was crazy. Uh, so we've got a whole bunch of stuff here. This is all being produced mainly into iron rods, which then get turned into screws, which are going to go off for the various different um, different machines that we have. If I... Um I don't know if you see this alt tabness, but uh, if I just quickly pull this up here, I've been making a small, small, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for here? Small spreadsheet that gives, gives down a breakdown of everything I need. More importantly, the sort of the places where uh, things match up into whole machine numbers, if you will. So on this side, I've got like what gets output by like ingots, rods, etc., uh, and all these kind of go into what is needed for the various machines. So we've got up here. Uh, five reinforced plates, five are made per minute in the machine. Can I... Oh, I'm pressing escape as if, as if that spreadsheet has got anything to do with what's going on over here. So if we go and have a quick look in this machine, you can see that we're making five per minute, and that transfers itself right over here to this little ta table. Uh, it takes 20 plates and 120 screws. This that many of a machine, and if I do three reinforced machines, I get to balance out to two plate machines and four screw machines. Brilliant, right? Big, big thumbs up. Uh, the rotors, the the rotors, and the modular frames are a little bit more awkward because you can see that like 1.46, 1.2, 2.4, 1.6. You know that they, they, they're all a little bit awkward. So you've got to go all the way up to. 
five. Can I can I correct my spellings here? Thanks. Uh, we've got to go all the way up to five machines before things like balance out, uh, which is a little bit disappointing when you want to do five modular frames. You need 12 reinforced plate machines, which means we've got to do four times the amount here. And you just kind of got like back propagated all, which I, I think is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I, I like that. I, I will probably... Probably make that a, uh, a resource that is available. But also, have you seen that over there? So I was off trying to pick up some biomass. And also, look how many big bushes there are not here. I'm hoping that the trees are actually doing some sort of propagation here. And that the when these start to grow up, we can pick the big bushes. Uh, and then we, we just carry on the... You know, sustainable picking. That's what I'm talking about. Sustainable picking. Because, man, I have decimated this area. And I, and I don't mean in the classic uh, classic Roman uh, way of I've taken one in ten. No, no, no. I have destroyed the area for leaves. But also, green power slug. No, no, no. no. You've got to hold it down, have you? Okay, fine. I will hold it down. Hold it down. Uh, and we're going to press V. Look at that. Yeah, okay, cool. I want to go have a little look over this way. Are you guys all right with that? Uh, I've not gone exploring this way, though I do see a suspiciously square shape over there. I also see this blobby thing, which normally means we've got a little bit of uh, poison on the go. Yeah, look at those things. They're horrific. That that thing there is also pretty bad. Uh, in fact, now that I stop and look, look, it's, it's, it's all bad poison tree. It's bad juju, man. It's bad juju. But how do I get round? Oh, the suspiciously square thing was a rock. <laughs> Lol. Ooh, what's this? Okay, so I've literally just come up and around. I, I need some way of moving faster. This is horrible. Uh, so there's there's the tree we were just round, the horrible lumpy things that outgas. That, that's all back over there. If I now come down over this... Oh, also, green power slug. Did not see that. Ah, oh, we should definitely be doing some scanning for that sort of that sort of thing. Come on, collect it, collect it. I need it. Thank you. I want to have a look down here what's going on oh look we got one of these bad boys okay that's that's a little little bad that's a little bad maybe we can go down and fight them i'm wondering how far away we can stay maybe maybe the time of day is help no 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 i was kind of, i was living in hope living in hope okay there's one ah, ah, oh there's more behind me there's more behind me where did they come from did not see that uh you would have thought bright purple and orange would have seen it but no uh, they're trying to get behind me can't let them do that because that's that's deadly. Oh, go away. Go go away. Go away. Get that one of there. And, and so when they hit me, they do a little roll thing. Really? Seriously? It's a good job I picked up some more nuts on this one. Okay, that's cool. And that one. Woo! That, that was pretty tough. That was pretty tough. I'm liking the fact that you can now just double click into your hand. Shift click and stuff like that. Oh, we, did, we spent so long that the sun appears to be rising. I mean, I'm, I'm alright with that. I'm alright with that. Let's go and grab the spoils of war and move on. Oh, look. That, that, there he was. Mm, not sure how I feel about this place. Is it real water? Are these, like, deadly things? I'm, I, I, feel, I feel deadly. I feel, I feel like I am deadly upon. You know, uh, that's that's everything I needed. Let's put back into this. Thank you very much. Quickly pick up that because I don't think that's going to propagate in the water. Okay, having a quick look around. I'm not seeing anything that is particularly out there. Oh, look. Majestic. Absolutely majestic. Although I feel like I want to be walking along that bit over there. Can I um, just kind of walk along here with no, no ramifications? I think I can. All right, let's go and have a look at these guys. Oh, oh, I heard a thing. Oh, I heard a thing. What is this? Look, look at this. You look, you look terrifying. Can I, can I de-terrify you? I feel a little bit bad about just jumping on him for attack there, actually. Uh, you didn't actually do anything to hurt me. Oh, I'm scared. I don't know about this, guys. I mean, they seem to be a little bit broken, so small blessings. But I'd like that. That is painfully deadly. I, I, don't know. I don't know. Is it pain? Is it pain? I don't want to let it. I don't want to let it do it. <laughs> Maybe they just want to be friends. Maybe they just... I wanted to follow these... Uh, running away. Okay, the two big guys seem to have broken up. That's that's no problem. Look at this little, like, thick, thick tangle of rubbish here. It's going to be uh, interesting to try... Oh, pick up wood. It's a wood. <laughs> Are we going to find, like, space beavers? Is, th is this what is this what's going down here? This is actually, like, a space beaver dam. I mean, that would be pretty cool. All right, this just feels like endless expanse now. Going back home. 
Okay, believe it or not, that entire little rambly journey had a purpose. That was so we could get some uh, U jelly landing pads. A universal jelly? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. But what I am sure is that I have no idea where I'm going to land right now. So if I just kind of do that and then maybe we could build it. Or not. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> okay, that, that was worth a go. But, oh, I took down the wrong landing pad. Ah, oh, would you look at that. I wonder what other things I can just... Uh, irreversibly destroy. Can I come in from this angle? Jump further! Blip. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I Oh, I'm stuck. Uh. <laughs> so, whilst we were doing all of that, our little rotor machine over here has been producing. As you can see, it's up to quite a way through this. But you know that we're not just kind of building them up here. Uh, I, I suppose that's fine. They're all coming out here and delivering over this way. Oh, you look at that. I'm going to take 50 of these just randomly in my hand. And we could, of course, set up another line like this. But I'm, I'm not going to do that. And the main reason for it is that I can just do... Beat it back. Oh, no. <clears throat> Bing -de bam and we get that done. I want to come and have a look at the front of this machine because it is a beautiful one and it's got a whole bunch of new animations from what I've been told. So if I come up here, pull this down, seal it into its little canister. Chong. I, I assume this is the thing that's being set up on its own. And then we click it down all the way to send. Let's have a look. Ada's going to have an incoming message. No, all right, maybe not. A construction platform has a been a done. But let's see what's going on with this now. Oh, yeah. I assume that was power rather than inertia being fired into it there. But that's pretty cool. Oh, that, that's amazing. Does it disappear or is it just a dot at the very top there? It doesn't look like it's actually disappearing. Uh, guys, that that should definitely disappear off to infinity. Uh, I, I know this is only a certain long length of cable. But if you could just make it disappear at the top. That would be great. Is it going to come back down? I'm going to wait until it comes back down. Oh, I think it's getting bigger. It is indeed getting bigger. Look at that. Beautiful. But if this was going up to a geostationary um, asteroid, we definitely wouldn't have seen it at the top there. I am disappointed. So anyway, we did that so that we could come into the hub and have a look at the new things that it's unlocked for us. More... <laughs> Wow, these are the ones that I'm really after. So you might remember the big old factory upgrade I did over there. Well, I've not hooked them all up because I'm worried about the power situation. I've been going around, I've been like stripping the world bare of any biomass. So I think it's time that we got this coal upgrade on the go, which should be fairly easy to do a lot of these. I should have some like reinforced, re uh, reinforced iron plates. Iron forced re plates. <laughs> That's that, that. That's great. I should say that more often. Uh, we put those in there. I should have a bunch of cable. I don't have a bunch of cable, but I also don't have the amount of rotors that we needed. But thankfully, the machines should have that for us. So just quickly, whilst I'm on my way past, you guys remember when I put the mycelium in the man? No, neither do I. Don't worry about it. But here we go. The, ma uh, the analysis of the mycelium is complete. She, please use a new specimen. But but she's got stuff to say first. Be used to create fabrics. Mm. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. Additionally, R&D has requested extra samples to determine the cause of an anomaly. An anomaly. Now, it doesn't say what. just says, yo, can we sort out an anomaly? Which means round here, we should actually have, if I select a different milestone quickly, Tier 1 fabrics. So, like, what are fabrics about? I don't know. What's this biomass about? Uh, biomass burners. I'm, I'm guessing from mushrooms, but I'm a few rods short. Oh, I wonder. So I've just selected this one as the milestone here. I wonder if I got my stuff back. Where's the iron reef? No, I didn't. I wonder if they've gone forever. That's going to be a very interesting thing to check out. We'll, we will quickly run a test here and find out what's going on. So we've got fabric unlocked. The pod doesn't leave. We don't have to worry about it. New parts. I'm assuming those new parts are in here somewhere. Fabric and mycelia biomass oh i've got to combine it with leaves very interesting now if we come back over here coal power bam okay yeah we get to keep that that's very very good so we've got this and we've got the cable here send that off and man i think it's about time that we started going around oh, wait, wait 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 i've got i've got time for this transportation as well as the construction of outposts is now encouraged <laughs> an increased focus on the explore and exploit pillar is recommended Coal is 125% more efficient than biomass and can be automated. 
That automated bit is definitely the more important. Let's go and stand up in this smoke here. Uh, I want to search for coal. Let's see how far away it is. I'm predicting at least a kilometer. It's going to keep spinning around until we get a little ping. It's going to take a while because it is distance away. Come on now, any moment. There's no coal here. There's literally no coal. Oh, there we go. One and a half kilometers over there. Actually, that's not too bad. That's two all the way over there. There's nothing over this way. Okay, so we've got to go that way. Now, I could make a machine. Uh, are we going to make a tractor? Are we going to make a tractor? I mean, I don't have any fuel source. I do have fuel sources. That's silly. Of course I have fuel sources. All right, let's have a look. We go into vehicles. Oh, look, they've got their own little section now. That's cool. Tractor, what am I missing? Modular frames and beacons. Right, so we can pop our tractor there. That should be pretty good. I need to go and grab some fuel. Let's just make sure I didn't actually grab fuel already. No, we need to go and grab some fuel. I also want to stick some stuff in the man before we leave. I'll just grab 200 because there's no way that we're going to need it for anything else, right? Well, actually, honestly, we're going to go sort out coal power. That was a little bit of shaky cam there. I hope you can forgive me for that. Uh, green power slug, that's the one that we definitely want to set the analysis off because this actually leads to the upgrading of the individual machines. There's like an overclock function. I'm not sure if it's going to show us right now. No, normally down here in this locked panel, we get the option of overclocking with the bugs. So I picked up the fuel here. You can see that we've got a craft bench. That's pretty, pretty good, actually. I'm enjoying the fact that we have a craft bench on here. But more importantly, we can put our fuel in there. And also I can put some things that I don't really use in here, like the, the scanning device and... About it really there's a lot of stuff that I could do with dumping before we travel okay I've also made sure I've got the stuff for a miner and the uh, and a coal factory just just in case coal burner that's what I'm trying to say there right so off we go we're off to go find the coal I will bring you back I don't know with anything interesting or even maybe a biome boundary it's it's really hard to slow this thing down when you're on a hill Okay, I'm a little, little disorientated when it comes to the th to the uh, the coal. Down here, look, there he is. There's a bad guy over there. Do I have my... I don't appear to. Not that one. I want this. I want to have... I do have it in my hand. Why can't I get it out to attack? Hey, 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 hey. We appear to have a little bit of a problem here. I'm going to have to try and take it out and put it back in my hand. Oh, let's get back in there. Okay. Can I get into my inventory? I can't get into the inventory there. Okay, let's go up this way. Um, hopefully I'm far enough away that I can now double click. I don't know, let's try double clicking that and then this one. Alright, that's much better. Refreshed it if you will. Are you still attacking my... my truck? Well, that got hectic. Alright, let's have a look and see what we got going on over here. I, I really think we're like... Oh, we're down there? 200 meters? That? Question mark? Let's go and have a look. But I'm afraid on this literal cliffhanger, I am going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time when we're going to get our way down there, make ourselves an entire industrial coal power plant, and try and get all of that power back to the base. So I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!